Welcome back to Chamber Chat. It's time for our weekly member spotlight. My name is Meredith Lindley and I'll be the host for this segment. Today I have the pleasure of sitting here with Richard Spires, who is the general manager for Citrus 95 and the Fox 96.3. Richard, welcome. Good to see you again, Mary. It is. We've, I've had you on the show a couple times over the few um, years. Actually, 112. Yeah, you're a very um, good guest. Oh, good. You're uh, personable, enjoyable, and yes. of course, the radio station always has lots of things going on that the community can benefit from. We're busy, indeed. You definitely are. Now, this is probably a very hectic time for you. Yes. Thank you for taking the time to come no here. No problem. So, um, what what kind of big event do you guys have coming up now? It's the 29th annual River Raft Race is coming up. Uh, September 24th. Okay, so that's going to be not this Saturday, but next Saturday. That's right, right there on the river in Homosassa, in between Macrae's and Riverside. Should 29th be a good time. annual. That's I amazing. Know. One away from 30. Right, just like me. Really? Great. And uh, I remember as a kid growing up in Homosassa, even being seven or eight, going raft race was the right. big event every right. summer. Well, so, our events calmed down. Probably when you were a kid, it was calm, and then it got kind of crazy, and it's calmed down a, a lot again. But we have a good time. We give away three $1,000 prizes. I like $1,000. <clears> I well, like 3000 better. What makes it fun is for the people that come and look, we, not, we have the mechanical wraps. They're the fast ones. We have the non-mechanically enhanced wraps. They race. First place in both those categories make 1000 bucks. win $1,000. Uh, we're going to have the second year, we're going to have the best decorated, which is really interesting. After the first races go, then the ones who've been decorated, they go around Monkey Island and every, we, part of the judging is from the cheers you get and stuff from the people on the river, but it's really a good time. And uh, then each winner, each category, mechanical, non-mechanical, and best decorated, wins $1,000. We put up 500 bucks and love motorsports, Honda and Chevy put up the other 500, make it 1000 bucks. Last year we had, I think, 22 rafts entered. It was wow. pretty great. It was it was a nice visual event. So I'm looking forward to it this year. It should be fun. Yeah, the Helene's down at Love are great people. And yeah. Definitely got to give a good shout out to them. for Well, fellow Seminoles, so we, we exactly. appreciate that a lot. Um, but uh, uh, this year uh, we're going back to the Vendor Village concept where we, we have extreme fun. It's going to have bounce houses for the kids and slides. Uh, there'll be some uh, uh, Italian ice and different things you can buy. There'll be some vendors there. It'll be a good time to hang out, but that will open up around 9 o'clock. It'll close up around noon because right at noon in front of Mac Cray's, the shed, we're going to have the first race, and then we'll have the second, and then we'll have the best in show, which is a lot of fun. The whole thing takes about an hour and a half. Then the party kicks off at that point. How many um, racers? Do you have this year? Well, Entr entrance. Well, generally we we have we've had around sixteen, but last year we topped over twenty two. So we should have another twenty plus. So now, like today, ten twelve days out from the event, is it too late to get a raft together? No, no. You can register up until the Thursday before the raft okay. race, and it's free. Now, if you do it after that, after say four, I think the cutoff date is, is four o'clock on that Thursday, which would be the twenty second. Uh, then it's twenty-five dollars to get involved because you got to get you know. But all the rafts put in right behind at the at the um, canoe launch and the kayak launch at Riverside, and uh, then come out and they park up front and then gives a chance for everybody on the river partying to see the rafts up close more so than it had been in the past. We did it last year. We'll do it again like like that this year. It should be fun. So when you say a mechanical, yeah. does that mean they have a motor on them? No, no, they can't do that. But. Uh, they use the uh, like bicycle uh, like pedals, or they, they use some sort of mechanical device. No engines or anything like that. You can't use any type of thing like that. But um, the non-mechanical is paddles, you know. So and you, hands. Yeah, they don't do too well. <laughs> the hands usually don't do so well. They're, they're fairly slow. But the mechanical, they can go fairly fast. But uh, a couple of years ago, like uh, we had a, a company that made a, a canoe out of aluminum, and it was. It just blows away the competition. Uh, well, like so, an aluminum company, perhaps? Even. That's That would be them. <laughs> and they won, but we've made it a couple of years ago. Well, last year's, in fact, if you've won the last two years, you can't enter again with the same craft. You can never enter again with the same. Because we had a, a run where people were had very fast rafts, and they kept putting them in. And, and Keep it, them in storage all year. And you saw, right, you saw people go from, you know, a dozen down to six. So now, with everybody having to start from scratch, make their own rafts, it makes it more interesting and gets more people involved. 
and we want as many people to win the thousand dollars as possible. That's our economic stimulus package for the river. I, I like it. Okay. Now, this all the events involved are they all free, or is there a mission charge? No, no, everything's free. That's now, fantastic. I think now with the extreme fun uh, for the balance houses, it's a couple of dollars and to let the kids slide and stuff. And if you want a snow cone or something like that, you can. But it's absolutely free to come and watch, and it's always a great time. Are there any other sponsors of the event besides you? Well, guys Budweiser, to, uh, you know, is a, is a big sponsor this year. The Bud Girls will be there. They'll have their boat out there. They'll be giving away free stuff. We'll be throwing out. We have some brand new koozies. We're throwing out that have a snap-on lid. I'll take care of you, Meredith. We'll um, uh, we have snap-on lid koozies, which are great for both Fox and Citrus. Uh, let's see. Taylor Made will be out there. Love uh, uh, Motorsports will have a great display. That'll look real nice. And um, then there'll be live music over at the shed, also at uh, Riverside after the race. And so is that provided by um, the shed and Riverside, respectively? Right. Each one's going to have their, their own group and stuff. Now, the night before at Matt Cray's, we're going to have a, a big blowout party, which we've done every year. We skipped it last year, but back by popular demand, we're having a big blowout party the night before the raft race at Matt Cray's. You are not allowed to come. Why am I just now hearing about this? Well, because it's, I guess it was done on purpose, Meredith. We took a vote. We just said you could not come. I'm no, very come hurt. on. You come on. It's a good time. Well, what's going to entice me to come out on Friday night? Well, it, Besides it, getting to hang with the wonderful staff of Citrus well, 95. Well, we're all out there. It's a lot of fun, but it's really a Citrus 95 party. Ryan Downs, who does our Friday night free for all, will be out there, and it's dancing, and it's a lot of fun. It's always a blast and we're glad to bring it back this year well that sounds exciting my problem is i'm supposed to run to beat the sheriff the next morning so yeah we'll have to see You'll how be that, beat all right that can all, you i'll have never time, beat him anyway you have time to do it you have time to do it and then come on out because the races don't start until noon okay okay so what else does the radio station have going on we got just a few seconds left if you want to share anything well there's well you know uh, citrus runs bob and sherry in the morning and we have a new morning guy who you interviewed before, uh, Skip. How's he working out? I heard he lost like 50 pounds or something. He has lost, yeah, 46 pounds. How did he do that? I should have him come tell well, me how he did that. You should do He did the ideal protein diet with, with citrus chiropractic. But he's lost quite a bit of weight. Wow, and that's a the no shots, no drugs. Right, exactly. Wow. And he's really enjoyed it. His energy level's up. He's done very well, and he's... He's still a big boy, but he's uh, lost 46 pounds. That's a lot. Like 18 inches overall. Wow. Pretty amazing. So we've got that going on, and then we go right into you know the holiday season. But first, we got to get through the 29th annual River Raft Race, September 24th. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you out there next Saturday. Thank you for coming. Good deal. Thank you guys for watching this week's edition of Chamber Chat. We'll see you next time.